Hi, I'm Ben Smith, a senior developer advocate for AWS Serverless. This is a quick introduction video to AWS Step Functions new Workflow Studio. Workflow Studio is a new visual builder that allows you to design Step Function workflows directly from within the AWS Management Console. To get started, I click on the Create State Machine button and then I select to design my workflow manually. This opens up Workflow Studio. Now you can see Workflow Studio is split into three components. The left hand panel is where I can search and choose workflow states. These can be task states or actions such as invoking a lambda function or you can choose workflow states such as parallel, choice or wait. In the centre is my workflow design. This is where I drag and drop states to build out my workflow. And on the right hand side is where it allows me to configure each state using editable forms. Here is where I can also apply input and output path processing, error handling and try catch blocks. First I search for the lambda invoke task state and I drop that straight into my workflow. Then I configure the state by giving it a name, I'm going to call it send sns and then I choose the lambda function that I want this state to invoke. Next I'm going to set some error handling. I click on this edit button here and then I edit the interval in seconds from 2 to 1 and I change the max number of attempts to 2 as well. Coming back to my states view here I'm going to look for a flow state and I'm going to drag in a wait state. Here I'm going to decide to get the seconds from the state input so I'm going to use a JSON path to a payload I'm going to provide called wait underscore seconds and I'm going to give this wait state a new name called wait x seconds. If I choose the definition button here I'm able to view the ASL Amazon States language definition of my workflow. Once I've inspected the ASL definition I'm going to go ahead and save my workflow. Once the workflow is saved I can execute it just as normal by inputting a custom payload and you can see that once this workflow runs I can then go ahead and edit the workflow. Now the way I do that is to select Edit State Machine and then select Workflow Studio from this button here. This takes me back to Workflow Studio where I can continue to design my workflow. And you can see how I'm able to edit my workflow and continue to iterate from within the AWS Management Console. For more information on building step function workflows with Workflow Studio, please visit s12d.com slash workflow-studio.